Greetings friends around the world. This is Dr. Bob Teal for the Bible News Prophecy Channel. I want to talk about Waldensian Apostolic Succession. In Matthew chapter 16 verse 18, Jesus taught that the grave would not prevail against the true church. Furthermore, I want to go to Matthew chapter 28 starting with verse 19 to read some words from Jesus. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Those words from Jesus show that the true church could be in various places, but would not die out. So could there be a list of successive Sabbath keepers from the time of the original apostles to present? Well, yes. Well, could the some called Waldensians been involved? Many feel that the Waldensians popped up in the 12th century uh, in the Alps in northern Italy. But could they have come from a much earlier time? The late Worldwide Church of God evangelist Dean Blackwell published one of the following I wish to read. The following taken from the Martyr's Mirror. The Waldensians claim that they had an uninterrupted succession of bishops from the time of the apostles, and they are probably correct in their claim. Jones quotes from Peter Alex, History of the Churches of Piedmont. In his Church History of the Churches of Piedmont, Alex mentions the church as the Church of God. It will, will be observed that the people called them Waldenses. They called themselves the Church of God. Jones then quotes, They declare themselves to be the Apostles' successors, to have apostolic authority. Even their ministers have been ordained in an unbroken chain since the Apostles. That is some claim, but it's true. Now, after I had seen various published claims from the 19th and 20th centuries of apostolic succession related to the group known as the Waldensians, I contacted historians and librarians associated with the American Waldensian Society to see if they had any backup for such claims. And I also contacted leaders in various Sabbatarian churches. Those who I was in contact with were unaware or did not have such a list, even though various early documents claimed that the uh, Waldenses, also known as the Vodois, had true succession or some type of list prior to the time of the Protestant Reformation in the 16th century. Now, to assist me, the American Waldensians referred me to a, a Moravian scholar by the name of Dr. Craig Atwood, as well as to the Archivo della Tavola Waldensi, which are the historical archives of the Waldensian Church in Italy, for more information. Now, I spoke with Dr. Atwood, and he provided me information that the succession of Moravian clergy members, prelates, was accepted by the British Parliament in the 18th century because they claimed that they had succession through the Waldensians. Uh, furthermore, uh, Dr. Atwood wrote, the claim of apostolic succession through the Waldensians did help the Moravian Church to be recognized by the Parliament of England in 1749, Ada Fratrum Unitatis in Anglia, London, 1749. Now, John Hill Martin wrote that the Waldensians, or at least the Moravian portion, claimed to have originally descended from, quote, a branch of the Greek church, end quote, from the ninth century. Now, Moravia is a historical region in the east, east of the Czech Republic and is one of the three historical Czech lands with uh, Bohemia and Czech Silesia. In the 18th century, the Episcopal Church seemed to accept the Moravians as having valid Greek church succession. 
Now some indicate that the Waldensians came from a branch of the 4th century Greek church, and that would point to either Antioch or Asia Minor. Now in his Facts of Faith book, Christian uh, Everson seemed to point to the Waldensians as being a branch of the 3rd or 4th century Antioch church. And even Roman Catholic sources, like the late uh, Cardinal John Henry Newman, acknowledged there were Sabbath-keeping leaders in Antioch in the 3rd and 4th centuries. While there were different groups called Waldensians by the Roman Catholics, some of those did keep the Sabbath, as well as to hold other doctrines not held by the Roman Catholics nor the bulk of uh, Protestants. Although modern Waldensians observe Sunday, I'd like to read a report about this. Sabbath keeping among Waldensians was most widespread in Bohemia and Moravia, places to which they fled during papal persecution. A 15th century manuscript published by church historian Johann Dollinger in History of the Sex reports that the Waldensians in Bohemia do not celebrate the Feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary and the Apostles, except the Lord's Day. Not a few celebrate the Sabbath with the Jews. So I went and I found what Johann Dollinger published in Latin from that source, and I'll kind of read through that as well as uh, uh, my translation of it. Festa Divae Virginia Maridae et Apostolorum non celebrant solum diem Dominicam aliqui no nulli vero cum Judeus sabbatum celebrant. The festival of the Blessed Virgin Mary and the Apostles not celebrated, only some the Lord's Day. Not a few of the people celebrate the Sabbath with the Jews. Now there were differences among the groups that were called Waldensians. Some kept the Sabbath. The succession list that I'm going to be going over only includes leaders, starting with the apostles, who seemingly kept the seventh-day Sabbath. In the 14th century, the assertion of Waldensian apostolic succession was reported by a Dominican monk, according to the Encyclopedia of Religion and Ethics. So let me read uh, from that. Waldenses pushed their beginnings to the age of primitive Christianity. Thus, they denied that they first appeared as a set of heretics breaking off from the historical church and claimed to have preserved the purity of the faith through the ages, while all the rest of the church was degenerating and accumulating the corruptions against which they protested from the first. Claim to apostolic origin. This claim is first met in a Dominican monk at Passu in the year 1316, who states that the Waldensians are the most ancient of all the sects, some even saying that this sect duravit ad tempore patrum. It was but a step to add that the Waldensian church was founded by St. Paul on his way to Spain. Now, the Latin duravit ad tempore patrum, translated to English, means they lasted from the time of the fathers. While there could be groups with ties to Spain, since the Waldensians elsewhere indicated that they came from the Greek church, which would be apparently Asia Minor or Antioch, that would seemingly rule out Spain, but of course there were different groups of Waldensians. Now the Catholic Encyclopedia says that early succession claims were made by other groups such as those known as the Paulicians and the Cathari. And in the 12th century, Abbot Bernard of Clairvaux, is, uh, who's a declared doctor of the Roman Church, called, quote, the Cathari, a sect of the Waldenses. The Cathari said they had apostolic succession. Now, reportedly the Waldensians, from notes on the uh, origin of the Episcopate of the Bohemian, says, being scattered abroad in various countries, they supported amongst them, the true apostolic succession of ministers and bishops after the aforesaid manner of appointment without break down to the year 1450, about which time the separation of the Bohemian brethren from the then prevailing religion of Bohemia took place for sufficient causes. 
Now, there was a branch of the Greek Orthodox Church that uh, essentially approved Waldensian succession in 1451 through the acceptance of the ordination of some Waldensian presbyters who switched and became part of their church. Now, interestingly, in the 1700s, John Potter, he was the Anglican bishop of Oxford and Canterbury, said that the Moravian bishops, who claimed to have succession through the Waldensians, quote, had true succession, and made a point that, quote, only those ignorant of church history could cast any doubt about it. So he's saying, absolutely, there was Waldensian succession through the Moravians. But now in the 21st century, uh, no Waldensian list back to the apostles uh, has been found, at least according to the Waldensian sources that I checked with and the other sources that I looked for. Now, Marco Patini, who works at the Waldensian Library in Italy, said that the archives there did not have such a list when I asked him about it. He also said such a list would be difficult to compile as there are a variety of doctrinal inconsistencies related to the modern Waldensians. And he's correct about that. But also there's a historical problem that people with different beliefs were just lumped in as Waldensians. Basically, people who were not accepting the Greco-Roman churches were just all called Waldensians because they just weren't part of them. Not because they're part of the same group, but basically because they were not in communion with or, cons or otherwise were considered to be in opposition to the Roman Catholic Church. Now I'd like to read something from uh, a book called Israel the Alps. Roman Church, they refused to give it the name of Catholic and showed in what it had departed from true Catholicity. The Vudais, which are the Waldensians, therefore are not schematics, schematics, but the continued inheritors of the church founded by the apostles. Their church then bore the name of Catholic. Now that being said, Marco uh, Pratini, uh, and I gave the English translation of it, but it's called the Archivo della Tavala Valenci, Valdesi. He also emailed me on September 3rd of 2020 to encourage me to send him such a list so I ever come up with one. So on June 15th of 2021, I sent them a list uh, from the time of the Apostles uh, through 1525. It starts with the Apostle Peter, goes to John, goes to people we, goes to Polycarp, who according to sources were, was appointed by the original Apostles. And you can see we have various ones listed uh, in, uh, in Asia Minor and, and elsewhere. Now, when you go through the list, sometimes you'll see it says unnamed. We know that there were Church of God leaders at the time because we have records from people such as the Roman Catholic Saint Jerome that there were leaders like the Nazarenes, etc., who kept the Sabbath and all those types of things. And you can see we go through uh, various ones, and I gave them this list all the way through uh, uh, Stefano uh, Carlino, of uh, 1525. So when he got this list from me, he responded. And in his response, he sent me an email that said, Dear Dr. Teal, thank you for the exhaustive list. I don't know all of them, but it's interesting. So I'm not able to suggest modification. Best regards, Marco uh, Fatini. So his group now does have a list. Now, we might get feedback from them or others in the future because of our list. Now, let's look at a symbol of the Archivo della Tava uh, Valdese uses. As you can see, there's a, a candle, a lampstand with a candle on it pointing to a, a, one of, a fourth of seven stars. Now, I want to read something from the old Worldwide Church of God. One of the Waldensian emblem or seal was the seven stars, Revelation 120. Directly below, pointing at the fourth star, was a lighted lamp representing the then active Thyatira church. Around the rim was a Latin motto, Lux lucet in tenebris, a light shines in darkness. 
See, Matthew 5, 14 to 16. God's people knew they were the Thyatira church. And the symbol that I showed that's being used now was from that ancient symbol with this lamp with a with flame. And they're still using it today. It's, even according to Roman Catholic scholars like uh, Bellarmino Bugatti, it's long been believed that early Christians used the seven lamp, lampstand as a symbol. Now, I want to go to something that Jesus told the Apostle John in Revelation chapter 1, verse 11. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last. And what you see, write in the book and send it to the seven churches which are in Asia, to Ephesus, to Smyrna, to Pergamos, to Thyatira, to Sardis, to Philadelphia, and to Laodicea. Now notice that Thyatira is the fourth. And we in the churches of God, have long considered the faithful called the Waldensians, some of the faithful that were called Waldensians, were part of the Thyatira era of the church of God. Now let's go to the next verse, see something that John wrote. Then I turned to see the voice that spoke with me, and having turned, I saw this, the seven golden lampstand. And each lampstand was connected to one of the eras. And again, that's a symbol that the modern Waldenses are still using, but they got this from ancient times, like uh, 12th, 13th century, something around this time. And again, it was the fourth one, and we in the Church of God have said that Thyatira was the fourth. Now, I'd like to go over something else that uh, Dean Blackwell reported, because you know, the modern Waldensians... Uh, the people call themselves that, don't call themselves Church of God. So here's what he wrote. Candlestick removed. Watch. When an error gets to a certain place, it begins to go downhill, to degenerate, to become Protestant. God rejected them and left them, and they were no longer the true church. The Reformation came to swallow the true church. It did swallow up the Waldensians and the Bogomils and some of the previous stages of the church. Waldensians. They did a fine job up until... The 1500s. At that time, they began to reform, began to degenerate, began to be like the rest of the world. They also began to get an army and their own government in order to resist the persecution. But God had already taken a number of them and removed them into Germany, where they were known as Anabaptists or Sabbatarians. Much has been said of the origin of the Waldenses. Their own historians assert that the community has remained from apostolic times independent of the Church of Rome, and they boast they can show a regular apostolic succession of bishops from the earliest period of Christianity to that of the Reformation. Now, despite the fact that many Waldensians around the time of the Reformation rejected truth, and modern ones keep Sunday, the succession continued elsewhere. Dean Blackwell mentioned the Anabaptists, and we know that the Anabaptists in Moravia were also known for keeping the seventh-day Sabbath. And Moravians claimed their apostolic succession ties through the Waldensians. And there's a couple other uh, Waldensi, uh, Moravian Sabbath keepers you could add to the list. Uh, one, there's a report of a Moravian Sabbatarian Anabaptist traveling minister. We don't have his name, but we know about him. And then from 1529 to 1540, uh, we have Andreas Fisher. So we do have a list going back to the time of the original apostles through the Waldensians, Moravian, and Baptist Sabbath keepers. Now, it's not as complete as I prefer, and it's also possible that there could be other lists and it will make modifications for other purposes. But for right now, we have a list from then, and I invite others who might have information regarding that list uh, to, uh, to contact me. My email address remains cogwriter at aol.com. The reality is, we in the Continuing Church of God have ties to the original apostles. I went through some of the, a list of some of the leaders, many of the leaders from the time of the apostles up to the 1500s, and we actually have a list uh, from that time uh, through present. But the reality is, the other reality is the Waldensians had a list. They had a list in the 1400s, 1300s, 1500s, their list was accepted by some associated with the Church of Rome, some associated with the Greek Orthodox, some associated with the Anglicans, the Episcopals, and even the British Parliament. 
So there was a list. No one's got the original list. But we've gone through to try to recreate it, and we've shared that list with Waldensians. Jesus said the true church would not die out and to, to teach in all nations. The true church did not die out. Having that list, I think, helps show the true church did not die out as we have a list of apparently Sabbath keepers from the time of the apostles uh, through the Waldensians as well as beyond. This is Dr. Bob Teal for the Bible News Prophecy Channel.